Assalamualaikum and hi. Do you know that uh, in order to obtain optimal cleaning result, uh, you must also know the characteristic of detergents. Uh, in this video, I will explain uh, this topic uh, and I'm using, uh, sometimes I'm using the term cleaner and sometimes I'm using detergent but basically it means the same thing, yeah? uh, cleaning compounds. Uh, okay. I think everybody knows that uh, detergent will promote the removal of salts uh, by lower the surface tension of water uh, so that salts may be detached, um, loosen uh, from the surface or the main structure of salts, uh, then uh, suspend the salt particle be before flushing it away. Uh, it is important to note that cleaning chemical or detergent uh, should be able to prevent redepositions on the processing surface. Before I further explain on detergent, you must know that salts, water hardness, temperature, plant surfaces and safety will influence uh, your detergent selection. For your information, detergent can range from pure chemicals such as sodium hydroxide, nitric acid, phosphoric acid uh, to more complex formulated detergents. Okay. Uh, then uh, these are the two alternatives, eh? pure chemical and formulated detergents. Another alternative uh, is to add additives to add additive to pure chemicals and uh, this third alternative is a very flexible alternative as you will have pure chemicals for cleaning certain objects and uh, when there is need you can have formulated detergent for other cleaning tasks just by adding suitable additives Formulated detergent consists of a certain agent. Okay, consists of certain agents uh, to increase uh, the detergent effectiveness. Acids or alkali is the main component in formulated detergent. Uh, while other additional components can include surfactants, or also known as wetting agents, uh, these uh, components. Uh, will lower the surface tension, hence enable uh, the detergent to wet the surface uh, more effectively and make cleaning more efficient. Uh, Squestering agents or chelating agents are water conditioners, uh, can bind calcium and magnesium ions, thus often uh, the water and prevent, thus soften the water and prevent the buildup of uh, mineral deposits. Uh, complex forming agents can only bind one metal ion uh, per molecule. Uh, oxidation agents can boost cleaning effect, for example, uh, hypochlorite and perborate. Uh, protection auxiliaries are additive uh, that function to protect sensitive surfaces. Uh, protective colloids and suspending agents uh, uh, is used to prevent particle redeposition on the clean surface and protect surface as well. Now, uh, let's look on the physical reaction of the detergent. Wetting or penetration, uh, this action is caused by surfactant action. Uh, as water unable to wet sufficiently, eh, water alone, Okay, water alone unable to wet sufficiently the water resistant surface eh, or hydrophobic surface. While surfactant, uh, when there is a surfactant inside the detergent solution, uh, it can wet the surface. Eh, it can wet the surface okay, uh, due to its chemical structure which has different charge at each end. Uh, I will explain the mechanism of the surfactant later. Okay. Now let's look on emulsification. 
Uh, it involves a complex action where physical breakdown of fats uh, and all into smaller droplets. Then the droplets, okay, then the droplet will suspend throughout the medium. Uh, to avoid droplets combine uh, together and then redeposit uh, onto the surface, uh, emulsification, uh, emulsification action will need uh, to work together with the surfactant action. Okay, uh, surfactant will coat the, the droplet surface to avoid, eh, the, will coat the droplet surface uh, to avoid them from combined. And emulsification uh, uh, can be accelerated at high temperature. Uh, dispersion is where cleaning compound loosens, lift and suspend uh, the, the salt particle in solution uh, and then solubilization involves structural breakdown into a liquid form uh, structural breakdown eh? into the liquid, liquid form then directly dissolve in a liquid uh, detergent may as well cause chemical reaction okay this chemical reaction all right uh, the main chemical reaction are hydrolysis. Uh, this can affect protein and carbohydrates uh, base salts, eh? carbohydrates base salt. And hydrolysis will split uh, the large molecule of proteins and carbohydrates into smaller units, which are water soluble molecules. Uh, then the molecule will dissolve in water. Uh, this reaction will accelerate at extreme pH of alkali and acid. Uh, saponification will affect fats, oils, and grease. It is a type of hydrolysis. In this process, alkali will react with triglyceride fat molecules to produce glycerol uh, and soap, where both are water soluble. Uh, chelation, okay, chelation. Eh? Chelation is, uh, is a term from chelates. Eh? All right. So chelation is a process where chelates bind uh, insoluble ions such as calcium, magnesium, iron, uh, other hardness constituents. Uh, uh, it will bind in water soluble cage, cage. Uh, hence uh, prevent the metal ions, uh, metal ions, eh? metal ions from uh, forming scale. Uh, oxidation may bleach uh, the color of deposit uh, and some protein or fat deposit uh, may be broken down. Uh, most detergents that are used in food industries are classified as formulated, uh, blending pro uh, formulated or blending products. Uh, they are blending to produce a single detergent uh, with certain characteristics uh, for one or more application. The main component of all formulated detergent is either an alkali or an acid. Uh, now let's look on alkaline cleaning compounds. Eh? Uh, alkaline cleaning compounds are most frequently used uh, in food industry. Uh, generally, it is used to remove fats. Uh, all, all uh, grease uh, and protein salts. Alkaline cleaners are divided uh, into four classes which are strongly alkaline cleaners, heavy duty alkaline cleaners or highly alkaline detergent, eh? uh, mild alkaline cleaners and chlorinated alkaline cleaners. Uh, strongly alkaline cleaners have strong dissolving power uh, and are commonly used uh, to remove heavy salts from commercial ovens and smoke houses. Uh, sodium hydroxide uh, is an example of strongly alkaline cleaners. Uh, strongly alkaline cleaners are very corrosive. Uh, it can cause burn to the eyes and skins. Uh, thus, it is not suitable for manual cleaners. Uh, heavy duty alkaline cleaners have moderate dissolving power uh, and are commonly used with high pressure or other mechanized uh, system and in manual cleaning. Uh, 
Uh, the compound has the active ingredients they are good in soil emulsification activity for example sodium metasilicate uh, sodium heza metaphosphate uh, sodium pyrophosphate pyrophosphate uh, <coughs> uh, sodium carbonate and uh, trisodium phosphate uh, three sodium phosphate. I'm sorry if I'm I'm, I'm pronouncing it uh, wrongly because this term are uh, quite rare. I'm not not uh, uh, is I'm not uh, often use uh, the term. Alright, it's quite complicated, a mystery term, a mystery term. Uh, besides act as salt emulsifying agent. Uh, some alkaline compound can act as buffering agents too, such as sodium metasilicate and sodium carbonate. Eh? Uh, borax may as well be added as a buffering agent. Uh, in order to control mineral chelators, chelators are added. And to enhance free rinsing, wetting agents are added too. Uh, mild alkaline cleaners are commonly used for hand cleaning of lightly soil. Example of mild uh, uh, alkaline cleaner, mild alkaline cleaner, uh, sodium bicarbonate, uh, sodium sesquicarbonate, uh, tetrasodium, uh, tetrasodium uh, pyrophosphate, uh, phosphate water conditioners, uh, which also act as squesters, uh, alkyl aryl sulfonates, uh, which also act as surfactants. All right. Uh, chlorinated alkaline cleaners is produced by adding hypochlorite chloride and eh? hypochlorite to alkaline cleaners. These cleaners peptide the protein and accelerate the protein's removal. Uh, chlorinated alkaline cleaners are good for cleaning in place, uh, CIP, but uh, not for manual cleaning. While for acid cleaning, eh? for acid cleaning compounds, it has two types which are strongly acid cleaners and mild acid cleaners. Acid cleaning compounds are used to remove encrusted surface matter and mineral scale. Uh, strongly acid cleaners are normally uh, apply to clean boilers, uh, steam, production, produ steam producing equipment and other processing equipment. Example of strongly acid cleaners are nitric acid and sulfuric acid, uh, which are not suitable for manual cleaning. And normally, corrosion inhibitors are added to strongly acid cleaners. For instance, nitric acid, uh, nitric, for instance, uh, nitric, uh, nitric uh, potassium chromate is, add, is added up, uh, to nitric acid, while butylamine. Uh, is added to high, high hydrochloric acid. Uh, phosphoric acid uh, is less corrosive and compatible, uh, compatible with many surfactants and can be used in manual and heavy duties uh, formulation. Uh, hydrochloric acid is corrosive uh, to stainless steel and dangerous to handle due to hydrogen evolution. Uh, important to note that strongly acid cleaners are corrosive to most metals, concrete, and fabrics, uh, and it, it irritating to skin. Uh, and it can release corrosive and toxic gas when heated, and can ulcerate, eh, ulcerate uh, uh, lungs. Um, mild acid cleaner can also act as water softener. Uh, water softeners. Example of mild acid cleaners are levulinic, uh, uh, hydrocyacetic, uh, acetic gluconic acids. Uh, wetin agent and corrosion inhibitors are normally added uh, to enhance its function. Uh, organic acids are normally used in manual uh, cleaners. Um, mild acid cleaners are mildly corrosive and may cause uh, allergenic uh, reactions. Acid cleaners are normally used in a two-step sequential cleaning regime with uh, alkaline uh, uh, with alkaline cleaner. Active chlorine is another component that may be added in cleaner. 
uh, for example, sodium or potassium hypochlorite. Uh, cleaners with active chlorine uh, are effective in the removal of carbohydrate, protein salts, and molds. It is also good in removal of salt derived uh, uh, from food sources. Cleanups with active fluorine can break uh, chemical bonds of carbohydrate uh, to form smaller and more soluble molecules, which then easy to be removed. Uh, the reaction rate of active chlorine uh, will increase with the increment of temperature. At pH lower than 8.5, hypochlorite is an eff effective uh, biocide. Uh, while for protein, for protein cleaner, for protein cleaner with active uh, chlorine uh, can decrease uh, pro insoluble proteins and change them to soluble proteins by replacing nitrogen bonded hydrogen with chlorine. Another advantage of active chlorine, it acts quickly. Yeah? Uh, however, cleaners that contain hypochlorite should be applied soon after the production as they are not stable during storage. Another ingredient in formulated cleaner is surfactants, uh, which are mainly uh, which are which are main uh, which are main physically active ingredients. Uh, surfactant are uh, actually synthetic surface active agents. Their molecule structure have two distinct uh, characteristics. Which one and okay, the blue cap here uh, is hydrophilic, or also known as water loving groups. Uh, well, so that's why uh, it, it has a it has a tendency to uh, expose uh, this structure uh, into the water, right? While the other end, the yellow part tail here, the yellow tail here, uh, is a water love is, is sorry. Uh, is hydrophobic, okay? Is hydrophobic, uh, which is water hating group. So it has a tendency to avoid contact with water. The different characteristics uh, will promote the removal action. Uh, where hydrophobic group, okay? Where hydrophobic group, the yellow tail, will dissolve in the oil and fatty uh, base surface. Uh, while the hydrophilic group will move towards water, thus it will leave. Okay, it will leave the all fatty base uh, deposit from the main structure. Okay, from this, this is a illustration of water insoluble oily deposit. Okay, so then surfactant will wet, will wet the surface and then penetrate. Eh? Uh, the soil deposit uh, they start to loosening process of the deposit uh, from the surface okay the action of wetting the surface emulsifying and dispersion eh, uh, will increase uh, the removal rate there are three main group of surfactants uh, which are anionic anionic surfactants uh, which are negatively charged active ion iron uh, when in solution uh, they are most applied surfactant in cleaning as they are compatible with alkaline uh, cleaning agent and ionic uh, surfactant are excellent wetting and soil dispersing properties however they are high forming that does limit its application in cleaning in place non-ionic surfactants are not ionized in solution uh, so they are good under acid and alkaline condition and uh, they are suitable to be used in high pressure or spraying cleaning and cleaning in place yeah, CIP due to its low forming properties furthermore they are not affected by water hardness cationic surfactants are positively charged uh, active ions uh, that are actually poor wetting, uh, poor wetting agents, but are strong better recites. Okay, better recites. Uh, does they act as sanitizers? 
quaternary uh, ammonia is one example of cationic surfactant. Uh, actually, there are hundreds of variations of surfactant out there in the market which are impossible for me to list here. And important to note that uh, uh, for detergent that have high forming characteristic, it is only suitable for manual cleaning. And it's not uh, suitable for cleaning in place, okay, CIP or a recirculation system cleaning, okay, cleaning recirculation system. Uh, because foam, foam uh, will produce cavitations in the pump and it will destroy pump in a short time. Another type of cleaners is enzyme ingredients, okay. Uh, enzyme-based ingredients, uh, eh, sorry, enzyme-based uh, cleaners, uh, uh, example of the ingredients that may contain inside the inside it is amylase, uh, other carbohydrate degrading enzymes, protease, and lipase. Uh, enzyme-based detergent are more environmentally friendly and require less energy as less hot water is needed. And, and, and it is also less corrosive uh, than chlorine cleaning compounds. Enzyme cleaner breaks soil down into smaller pieces and destroy the soil attachment sites, uh, which then aid uh, the removal. However, uh, enzyme-based detergent tend to be inactivated at high temperature. Okay, solvent cleaners, okay. Uh, are normally used to remove petroleum-based salts uh, such as oil, fats, and grease. These type of salts are usually not present on food contact surfaces uh, because normally you can have this, you will have this salt uh, from uh, lubricating, eh? lubricating oils or lubricating grease, eh? lubricating product, eh? basically lubricating product. Okay. Uh, the solvent cleaners emulsify, uh, melt, or break down the salt and remove the fat and grease. Uh, it may also contain forming agent. Okay. Important to note uh, that the hydrocarbons should never be used in the food industry because of their high risk. Okay. So, it's quite extensive. Yeah? So there are so many chemicals. Eh? There are so many chemicals. Eh? So cleaning chemical is a complex actually. Uh, like it's contain a lot of clean, uh, chemical compounds. Uh, and there are variety of detergent available in the market. And each detergent has different removal efficiency depending on their target source. So a guide for cleaner uh, or detergent selection uh, will given in the next video. Not in this video. It's too long already. Okay. Thank you for watching. And see you again. Bye.